Oh, sweaty balls. Sweaty balls. Yes. Uh, balls. What's another one sweaty of my balls? Sweaty can we like one curse minute. and stuff? You can. Yes. Yeah. And you talk can about do balls. Whatever you <laughs> please. Want. Then I'm fine. Please then I'm happy. Talk about balls. Cursing and balls. Can we talk about balls? Is Let's my favorite thing a uh, guest has said before. <laughs> Nope. Oh, it's not coming through at all. Here we go. <laughs> it's the Brett Tavern Show. Brought to you by Nice Guy Digital. And recorded at the world famous Moore Park Music Studios in Studio City, California. Today's podcast. Brett chats with our good friend, Jasmine Savoy Brown. She's from the HBO show The Leftovers. She plays Evangeline. You guys know her as Evangeline. I know her as Jasmine Savoy Brown. She's also on TNT's show Will. She plays Amelia. I, again, know her as Jasmine Savoy Brown. Ben? Yeah. Good to see you. Hey, Marty. My name is Marty Shannon. Now let's get to the guy who's graduated high school three times. That's me. And his also knows Jasmine Savoy Brown as her three names. Brown Savoy Jasmine. Jasmine Savoy Brown. My best friend, Brett Dabber. Yes, listen up, everybody. This is our show. Thank you for listening on iTunes or your favorite podcast app. Entire episodes of this show are also on YouTube, tube, tube. And mm. now we have two different camera angles, Marty. We're getting fancier Ooh. on YouTube. Oh. oh, he can't see me. In this it also one. gives Ben a lot more to do, so, you know, he likes that. So go to YouTube.com slash Brett Davern Show <laughs> to see this show in all of its video glory. The show is free, no matter where you're listening to it on. All that we ask is that you recommend it to a friend and support our sponsors. It's, I'm now adding that last part. It's free because we'll never be able to charge anyone for this, Brett. Well, no one will ever pay for this content. Our audience just quite doesn't. Nobody has any credit cards out there. That's true. Or ways. Not to our pay fan for base, it. at least. Hell no. Um, also, if you're listening, if you could please take a second of your time to rate and review our show on iTunes or leave us a comment below the YouTube video, we would really appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, also. Cake Bams, before we get going, Jasmine, let me tell yeah. you about our sponsor, because we do have a sponsor. Tell me. Cake Bams, a delicious snack. Oh, we should have grabbed one. Maddie, grab Jasmine a Cake Bam Free out food? there. Don't eat it on the oh, you guys, Cake Bams are delicious. Go to cakebams.com to order all of your Cake Bams. Enter the promo code BDSBAM as in Brett Davern Show BAM, to receive free shipping on all your orders. Cake Bams are a delicious new way to enjoy rice cakes. They've taken that? organic brown rice cakes and frosted them with healthier yet yummy toppings spanning from citrusy lemon mm. and blueberry cream mm. to sultry dark chocolate and sea salt. The, the dark chocolate and sea salt, 90 calories, Jasmine. Dang. Two grams of sugar. <laughs> that, Can you believe it? That's actually it? incredible. What a time we're living in, people. Um, there's also a green tea matcha flavor. They got all kinds of good stuff going on over there. All of their products are gluten free and they use all organic ingredients. My God! And cake bams are delicious. It's yes, made in a home kitchen. That's right. It says on the back, made in a home made kitchen. A home They're kitchen. also a really cool, made fun company. Like, okay, what's the name of that one that you're holding this is there? It's called Chocolate Chip Crookie. See, it's a crook. It's gonna steal See? your saliva. Yeah, it's funny, a Nixon. Fun name. Please you. Of they also do events, Rice birthday cakes. parties, weddings. They can put wow. specialized things on their labels. So they're a really cool company. Go to the website. Check it out. Order Cake them. Bams. If you support us, Bam. you will support our sponsors. Thank you for doing so. Jasmine. Yes. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Happy Thank you for here. letting me get glad through here. all of that stuff. And before we really get going with you, yes. Um, I have to tell the people something mm. out there. So all bear right. with me one second. I'm on edge today, a little bit. Okay. And they have, they're have they going to have to know that as they listen to this episode because tomorrow morning, my family is growing by one member. <gasps> oh, my goodness. I know. The boy will now have a partner in crime who will henceforth be known as the girl. They're adopting a dog. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> now people are going to think that's what it is. <laughs> no, no, Mrs. Davern, she, we're going to have a girl. And uh, so we'll have the boy, the girl, 
Mrs. Davern and myself now at the house. Oh my and it's goodness. all happening tomorrow morning. It's scheduled. Oh, congratulations! Unlike most most births, but uh, it's scheduled. Well, sometimes you so have to do that. I'm a little. It's a little freaky today. I got the phone on. I'm. You know. How old is the boy? Two and a half. Wow. Forty six. Yeah. Two and a half. Two and a half. And, and the girl is like, negative one day. That's as interesting we sit to here think right about. now. Brett. Mm-hmm. Never mind. I was gonna make a. What? Never mind. I was gonna make, make a. Joke? Republican You're gonna make joke. a life starts yeah. out. Yeah. Kind of thing. She's nine months old. All right. Him and his boy Trump over there. You and your boy Jeez Trump. She's actually Louise. six thousand years old. Um. So anyway, so just keep that in mind. If you hear any weird things from me or I'll weird anxious random moments, screams. or if I just go running out of this studio at a moment's notice, I'll take we over. We won't judge you. We'll it's support. because the water has broken. Jasmine. Yes. Let's get to you though. Let's get to me. After On all Twitter, all right. at Jazz, J-A-Z-Z underscore, underscore that's important. M-I-N Brown. That is me. Jazz Min, Min Brown. Brown. Not Jazz <laughs> underscore Brown. No. Don't pronounce jazz. the underscore. The underscore is silent. It's cool to that's look true. at. Mm-hmm. The underscore? But you don't say it. Now, Jasmine, yeah, you know. I say it. As we were sitting here preparing to record, I heard you say that you are from my beloved Pacific Northwest. I did. That's your beloved. Yeah. Are you from there? Born and raised. Where? Seattle. Well, Edmonds, oh, okay. just north of Seattle. I'm from Where do you hail from? Springfield, Oregon. Oh, uh-huh. huh. Original home of the Simpsons. The Simpsons. Yeah. Even though it was voted on like five years ago, mm-hmm. it's it's Springfield. Would it get voted Illinois? I think it was Illinois. It's Springfield. Illinois is and like the just, cliche you know. Springfield. It doesn't look like it'd be in Oregon, though. That well, show. it is. There's a radio, a nuclear mm-hmm. waste plant. Ned Flanders. Have you is been to Springfield, Oregon? <laughs> no, I've been to the There's edge of Oregon on the Idaho side, okay. and it's a I desert barren wasteland. To that side. Plus, the Washington other side State, is beautiful and green. Washington and State's got Hanford rainy. nuclear power something out there. There's some really? sort of I don't know. See. There's, There's three-eyed trout out I there don't somewhere. Know. Uh, that I would believe. That mm-hmm. I would believe. And weird Where salmon. exactly is Springfield, Oregon? It's next to Eugene. It's south of oh. Portland. Two hours south of Portland, right off of the five. Which people back home hate that. We mm-hmm. say I-5, you know? Yeah. Or oh, you say I th- And now really? that I'm here, now that I've been here, I say the five. And I go home and they're like, you're so LA. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. I-5 I- North, oh, I-5 I- five South. I-5 North, I-5 South. Yeah, you I- don't North say everyone too. out. Everyone, everyone, everyone else everywhere else says. Everyone before. everywhere else, right? Is it this everywhere? This is just an yeah. LA thing. The it's five, the 10, the 101. 134. Yeah. You, you know, know we don't have time to say the whole thing. We're in a hurry. You know what I really can't stand is I was in an Uber four days ago and the guy, you know, making some chit chat with yeah. the driver, because I like to mingle with the people. Brett's annoying. Right. I come down off my Hollywood say. elite pedestal every once in a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like to muck it up with the commoners. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Brett will still <laughs> anyway, hail, try to hail a cab. I'm, I'm, I'm chatting with my driving servant. <laughs> <laughs> yes. My man. As one does. <laughs> and, uh, and he was... Because in L.A., they give all the freeways also some cutesy names that go along with them, Wait. such as I-5 is the Golden State Freeway. Oh, yeah, yeah. Take or like the Golden 134 State. is the Hollywood Freeway? Or I is that the 170? So. 144? The, 134. The, the 405 oh, okay. can be the San Diego Freeway. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. And he starts referring to them by all those names, and yeah. I had no idea what he was talking about. I didn't realize that was a thing. Apparently it is. So Brett What's gave him a one-star review. Well... After I slapped him across the face yeah. with my white glove, <laughs> and challenged the single glove. You mean your hand, your bare hand? <laughs> <laughs> you my white bitch. gloves that never come off. <laughs> oh, Marty. Um, so Springfield, Oregon, though, next yeah. to Eugene. Next to Eugene. Now, loyal listeners to this show know that I, in the past, have said that Eugene is full of nothing but adult bookstores oh, and that's why worthless I- students. <laughs> Who go to the University of Oregon? Why are they worthless? Just tell well, me why they're, they're ducks. worthless. And do you have a problem with ducks? Yes, I do. Did you I go to the University of Oregon? Did you go? No, I didn't, but I, <laughs> you know, I love it and support it sure. because I'm from there. Here's the reason I can't stand I have two the Oregon University shirts. of Oregon and all the people that go two, there and anyone two. Who roots for it. Why? Jasmine, we're gonna what? have beef. We're gonna oh, have beef. We're gonna have a problem. Because when I problem. was growing up, that school sucked at everything. Everything. <laughs> They were bad at everything. Like they never won any football games. Well, that's they never won any basketball games. They were really bad at everything. The only thing they had was Steve Prefontaine. That's the only thing they had going for it. Which is amazing. Yeah, but he was right, Prefontaine. He wasn't even the he real. He wasn't Fontaine. even Fontaine yet. Yeah, I mean he is cool. Dang it. There were two movies made about him. He's that cool. He's cool. But, but then all of a sudden, here comes it, Nike. They put. 
makes money. Nike. They start paying players and all and the illegal so stuff jobs. that they do. And now all their mathletes have Nike gear on. But anyway, the point is, is now their teams are good, <laughs> mm-hmm. and everyone wants to claim that they've been down with oh. the O forever, oh. and well, they have not. Well, it's all like these hangers on on my beloved some Seahawks. Or go- yes, yes, I understand. All these fair weather fans, get out of my life. I know. You say forever, like you're 80 years old, though. Jasmine, you're also a baby child. Jasmine, you think I that. am? He's is it you just use good moisturizer? The father of two. Well, you and can be the father of two at 17. I get, I get my Noxema mm-hmm. on every day. All right. Which, you know, you're, you're supposed to. You should. Father of two at 17. <laughs> you, did you shout I mean, Springfield <laughs> at that point? <laughs> yeah, I did. Any place in I Florida. did. You have to be able to, you know, make fun. Yeah, so yeah. Springfield, I love it to death. So please, what I'm trying to say is please yes. allay my fears okay. and tell me that Springfield is not full of adult bookstores. And you thought Eugene was full of adult bookstores. It really is, though. If you drive up by five, there's a bunch of signs it is to the freeway full to say of a lot of adult bookstores. For adult bookstores, it's for, who still reading? goes there? It's because, truckers, truckers. Yeah, but a books? okay. You know what's great off of any well, highway in Oregon? They're not buying books. Burgers. There's some great burgers off the five I five. Off of I five north or I-5. south? At the well, adult bookstores. Well, stores? both. At you know, burger and a book. <laughs> Where and do you go for burgers? Some the balls. Other one. Give them a and shout out. Where do you go for again. burgers? Where do I go for burgers? Giant Burger on Main, otherwise known as A Street in East Springfield. Is this in Eugene? It's in Springfield. Oh, okay. And my friend's mom used to be the cook. She's not anymore. So okay. actually, I don't know if it's still as good. All right. But All right. It was I'll stop throwing so delicious. much shade. I'll calm you down. You got to get the barbecue bacon burger. Okay. Dang. And it's like this Thick. Okay. No exaggeration. Okay. I can exaggerate, but I'm not. Now I make the drive quite often from here. Do you really to, to Seattle? Edmonds. Yeah. How many hours is that? Oh, uh, like when we used to do it straight through, and we can make it in like 18. Okay. Without stopping. It's. I mean, it's not bad. Now it's beautiful. I'm, now that I'm 46, I have to stop. 46. Overnight, it's because of all the stopping to pee. Of course. Which slows me down. You could just pee in a bottle. Like a trucker. We've all done it. And then I won't go tell to the, the bookstore. Story. You like won't tell trucker. the story. I, I, I mean, I, I could. Yeah, I've peed in some interesting places. Let's go for so it. We should I exchange. Hear about it. I'll do it. Speaking of pit stops. Yes. I'm having a weird echo with you. I need to pit stop us. Well, all right, but we don't have to start over, do we? No, no, no. Oh. I just need you to be up on it. Oh. Be up on it. Heard that before. Uh, Speaking of adult I'm glad you said what I was, is that better? Is that better? Is that better? That's All a right. great way to start. Actually, our our rap. If I beat books, get up on it. Get up on it. Should we just throw down <laughs> real quick? No, I want to hear about the time you peed in a bottle. Well, okay. Do we have to wait though for him to. No, we, we're, we're good. No, we're no. still going. Peed in a bottle. Mm-hmm. Yes. So when I was still living at home. Right after I graduated high school, I would drive to Portland a lot for auditions and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's not actually that amazing of a story. I booked a thing. Well, you're the one that brought it up. I know, because I thought I could slip it in there and then you wouldn't really notice until later. No pun you know? intended. <laughs> no pun intended. I had to sleep in my car and I peed in a bottle. That's really the whole story. Oh. It's not that amazing. It kind of seems like it'd be hard, though. It, you know? It's less hard. F- Never mind. It, it, was, <laughs> it wasn't easy. But you All do right. what you gotta. All right, I'm moving on. And now this. it's. Okay. I mean, that's. <laughs> I'm moving off of this. Aim. Let's get back to the hot uh, ramen versus udon talk yeah. that we were having. Udon, off not microphone. udong with the G. And I thought it was udon. When Jasmine first sat noodles. down, Marty the fat ones. and, uh, and <laughs> us started all talking about ramen noodles. Ramen and, and balls. udon noodles. Balls. And balls. Balls. Because I, I got to the mic and it reminded me of that SNL sketch where they're like, mmm. Shweddy balls. Oh, yes. One of the so greatest deep. sketches of all time. Mm. Alec Baldwin. I, and don't they all break? Oh, which yeah. Which is my favorite. Let me see. It's Alec thing. Baldwin, Molly Shannon yes. on a gas tire, I believe. And I think there's Does one Chris other Kattan guy that comes there? on at a certain Chris point. Chris Kattan might pop in there. Anyway, mm. it's hilarious. You guys should that. all YouTube it. It's one of my it. mom's favorites. It's, it's pretty Christmas funny. One. And they've done a bunch of those, actually. He's come of back those? as that character and then done other that. things of a similar... Of a nature. One of my <laughs> favorite <laughs> Alec Baldwin <laughs> SNL sketches is Canteen Boy. Have you ever seen that one, Marty? Mm, I'm sure I have. Uh, it's pretty good. I've you should look it up. Adam all Sandler the and Alec Baldwin. Adam. Anywho. Anywho. Udong. Udon. It's Udon, I think. It's Udon. There's Oolong tea. Oolong and tea Udon and do- noodles. That's the That's mix it. up. That this is, is why you come on the Bread Diamond Thank show you. to learn this sort of Thank useless you. knowledge that has been. Shoved into well, my brain, and I I've can't I've been get calling them Ramdong noodles for Ram the, <laughs> because I get ramen and udong mixed up. And oolong. I dare you to order that. Right. 
Can I get some rong dong noodles? Come to my area of town, Koreatown. <laughs> we'll go get ramen. Oh, you live in K-Town? I live in K-Town. How do you like it? I like it. It's just not... I want to live somewhere more walkable. Mm-hmm. But I don't live like on Wilshire. I live in a neighborhood and I can't really no. walk to a coffee mm-hmm. shop. But there's, there's a lot of cool coffee shops there. Yeah, and cool restaurants and stuff, right? Yeah, I haven't really gotten yeah. the chance to explore yet. But I'm so bad at exploring where I live. Mm. When I lived in Hollywood, I didn't explore. Now I know Hollywood pretty well. Sure. Right. Now that I'm K-Town, I don't really explore it that much, mm. but I'm going to lo- move Grass to Los Feliz. Grass is always greener. Then I'll explore K-Town. I'm just not good at it. Grass yeah. is always greener. It's true. Than where y- you live in K-Town. Yeah, that's the it's same. That that's the whole the saying. saying. And the grass is literally <laughs> greener in Oregon because it rains Literally. More. It's Not so on the beautiful eastern there. side. I play. I haven't been to Eastern. I Oregon. played a show. Nobody goes to Eastern Oregon except for this guy. I landed in Boise. <laughs> oh, sorry. Which, by the way, <laughs> that's, that's where Marty plays, plays all these hot <laughs> shows. <everybody>. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had to land. I had to land in Boise to get to this part of Oregon, which is gross to hear. Like, because okay. there's a big airport in Oregon. There's and a couple. It's in Portland. Yeah. Right. But yeah. I had to land in Boise. Dang. Boise, Idaho. Drive through like tumbleweed infested potatoes. nowhere oh land. Like the, the dry tundra. Oh, I'm sorry. And then we go and I, I'm seeing all these population signs of like 97 and like. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to And go the, there. my driver who was a college kid, I was playing this college on the edge and he like came and picked me up and he's like, uh, you want to stop at this burrito place? Like I guess because he yeah. never been out of town before and like I was an LA guy and he mm-hmm. thought I like wanted some thought you were cooler than we were some like ethnic food i guess okay and he's like you want a burrito i was like i'll stop forever man i get to this college and it's anyway it's really windy when i'm playing what was the college do you remember like william and mary was it an actual no. Willamette or i have no like i don't remember it was a college something like that it's a bummer i should remember <laughs> i played Eastern several of them. Right. but uh, it was wind. It was so windy that the stage, everything on the stage, started blowing over while I was playing. Mm. Uh, the tents were blowing away, Fantastic. so they canceled the show. Oh no! Oh. Was that the one show you had scheduled, or did no, you have a little tour going? No, I had a couple. It's the only show he's ever played, actually. <laughs> <laughs> they ever. paid me. They paid me before Still I got there, so I was fine with that. That's the nice. Show. It just it went yeah. so badly with the wind. He's but just. Kind of been afraid ever since. Scarred you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bad scarred. memories. I don't. I only play indoors now. <laughs> That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Controlled <laughs> wind environments. Yep. I'm going to bring in a giant They fan. have to turn yeah. the AC off when I play. <laughs> right. That's um, it's like it's sweaty. So before we start <laughs> talking with Jasmine about the leftovers, Marty, do you want to tell your... You had you said you had a you story, story about the leftovers. Oh, I get to talk for more than two minutes twice in one episode? How dare you? <laughs> oh, I sent some friction. No, there's no friction. You bitch. Uh, so I, w- I had a friend named Carlito. And uh, he was like, I don't want to give any, I don't want to give too much away about him because it's like a personal story. But anyway, he uh, he he was a single dad with like three kids, and he lived in this apartment out here in uh, Hollywood. And we were really close. And he was he's much older than me. He's like thirty years older than me. Uh, but we became really close just because I I was working at Starbucks and he was a customer. And he was always in writing, and he uh, he really wanted to be a writer. And he had just gotten out of prison like a year prior. Um, so he was, he was struggling and like, he would actually, he would like call me up and be like, Marty, like, I don't know what to do this month, but I'm really struggling. Yada, yada, yada. I would always give him free coffees. And then, um, we kind of fell out of touch once I quit Starbucks. It's kind of years. You're telling me that writers frequent Starbucks? <laughs> Weird. Yeah, I think he was the only one. Shock. Did he like open his laptop and sit there and write at Starbucks? Yeah, and it was the so one weird. across the street from Warner Brothers too, which is even what? weirder. Oh, yeah, feels like La La Land. Yeah, it was it that. Yeah, for everyone for sure. listening, if you walk into a Starbucks in LA, all you'll see are the back of people's laptops, and then mm-hmm. if you see the front of their laptops, it's just screenplays. They're all also yeah. photographers yeah. that are. Yeah. If you this is anyway. Little, sorry, I didn't. No, it's fine. Oh, it wasn't more than two minutes. I yeah, understand thanks. here. I get it. <laughs> I have to take his side now. <laughs> why don't you just why don't you just get out of here? All right, you got a kid coming. Why don't you yeah, just go? Just go go have the kid. Um, and so we fell in touch once I left Starbucks for bigger and better things, and he called me up. He's like, "Hey, Marty, I just want to let you know. Uh, you, I wanted you to be the first to know that I got a job as a writer." I was like. Oh, that's so good, man. I almost like cried. Yeah. I was, he was really, he was like teary on the phone. He's like, he's like, what's it for? He's like an HBO show called The Leftovers. That's crazy. And you know, he's been Ron, he's been writing on the show all three seasons, right? It's in three seasons, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. 
And uh, he is, he's got a house now and like a new fiance and he's just he's really happy. And I, I keep in touch with him a lot more now. Now that he's got a little bit of money, I'm friends with him now. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, and there's the chance he can put you on the left. Of course. So yeah, that's of course. true. Very LA. I have, you. I have sent him a text like, Hey man, you guys, you know, the music supervisor over <laughs> here at HBO. Yeah. yeah. He, that, that music is amazing. Mm-hmm. Music on that show is amazing. So tell us about your journey on, you know, finding your way onto The Leftovers. Yeah. Similar? I mean, not similar. Super but, similar but to Carlito's Totally, story. exactly. My name is actually Carlito. Okay. And, you have um, three kids and a three single kids father. And I'm a single father. Mm. Right. That's the story. Mm. No, when I booked the job, the I had been, I had just gotten a place with my roommate, but I lied to her. I just told her this last week that I lied at the time and said I had money when I didn't. Sure. So that she would move here and get a place with me. Cause I I've been day. couch surfing for you, a year. You both came here from Oregon? Oregon? Yeah. yeah. She came here after me. I came here with like $2,000 mm-hmm. and I got a place and I worked at Starbucks for three weeks, American Apparel for three weeks, Mel's Drive-In for th- I just couldn't keep a I job. I Mel's Drive-In. It's not so fun 10 p.m. to 6 oh, a.m. when I people come imagine, in and vomit on saying, the tables. I'm food a service But it's fun frequenter. up until like Which 10 a.m. Which one did you work at? The one on Hollywood. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. It in was the valley all the time. Lovely people, no but just it was horrible at... You know, 2 a.m. Food people service. come, do drugs, I just uh, Here's the thing. The reason I go there is because, I one, it's like I live way out mm. now in where you can afford things. And then, but everyone still lives here, you know? So right. when I want to meet up with people, Mel's on Ventura. It's perfectly in nice the Nice halfway spot. Okay. And also, I kind of like sitting at the old school diner with like yeah. the old coffee cups. No, it and feels like good. The, and the crappy just coffee. just keep refilling it and being like, mm-hmm. more coffee, hun. Like that kind of thing. Yeah. I yeah. like so that's that. That's how I did it. Brett I really took on wishes a whole other. it were 1950 again. I do. <laughs> Marty, it's my goal. To make America great again. Yes. When the country was great, Marty. <laughs> yes, right. That's the time I want to go back to. Right. When ladies would just fill your coffee with that mm. ass. I know. When mm-hmm. your boy Trump was still just a wee child. He was a wee little baby. There's a new bit on the show where I'm just going to say your boy before your boy? I say Trump every time. I, I think that and works. see how long we can go until Marty strangles Until he me. explodes. Well, I just want ratings for the show, and I figure if he strangles the me you on need air, to do for ratings. he means Eric. And none Trump. of you have boobs, so you can't like do a flash for ratings. Yeah. So you've got to just go. I've tried with the blow up. <laughs> it works. Eric Trump. It means Eric Trump. Yeah, your boy Eric. I'm really big into <laughs> I'm really big into hunting rare animals. Oh, most oh, weekends yes. you can find Eric oh. and Marty at a cabana in <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> I believe it. it up. Um, I'm s- wow. Oh, that's okay. Way off the tracks. Am I? So I'm so. Oh, you thank you. Speaking of oh. ratings with poop. Help. What happened? Help I from that into Maddie. my own. Thank you. You guys are gonna have to go to YouTube <laughs> to see what just happened. <laughs> thank you. Um, we almost had our guy. first our first nip slip. On no, the I've show. I've had my nip out on the show. <laughs> oh, that's true. You guys should make it even. You should each. Jasmine. I yes. Will, I will by the end. Okay. Thank Let's you. Let's reel it back okay, in. Okay. Reeling it back Let in. Let me try to do what the title suggests. Focus. Host the show. Okay. Let me steer this ship. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm present. You moved He's here. He's not. Should we I all, moved here. Marty, let's ho- let's all hold hands. Disrespect. Marty. Marty. Ho- take my hand. Let's all hold hands. Oh, sorry. We're gonna take a deep breath. We're talking to nipples. <sighs> One more. Okay. okay. You got so here from Oregon. I didn't breathe. Back to sweaty balls. You lied to your roommate. I lied to my roommate. I convinced her to come down here, and I was like, girl, I have money. I'm reliable. Mm-hmm. Didn't have money. Wasn't reliable. <laughs> but I needed her to be here. And so she got here. You needed someone to split the rent with. I needed someone to split the rent. I feel you. And that month, I had, I'd been couch surfing for a year until we got that place. I was working grave shift at Mel's mm-hmm. and auditioning and not sleeping, and I was just so tired. And I was in a show. It was miserable, but I was happy because I'm very dramatic and I love the struggle. You right. were on a show? I was in a show at like a musical. Oh, oh, oh cool, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. And then. Talk, speaking of musicals, what musical? You, a musical guy? I'm a musical theater geek. Are you? Yeah. Me yeah. too. I'm going to see Sarah Bareilles in Waitress. The only reason I didn't. I can't talk about it. Okay. Oh, see, here's the thing. The only reason I didn't jump on that when she said she was in because you knew that i'd freak out i was like i was like i I can't have this whole episode (laughs) being us taking deep breaths and getting back on (laughs) track and then you threw us off the track that's the charm of the brett davern show that's true that's true talk about a musical for three seconds so which musical was it which one was well it was called divorce jack a new world we were writing Mm. it as we were going it was a thing for kids at um downtown the la phil oh sure disney concert hall yeah 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 some educational stuff nice yeah but I mean, everyone loves Hamilton. Hamilton's great. But mm-hmm. I love In the Heights. Oh, I love In the it's Heights. one of my favorite musicals of all I'm time. I'm going to say it. I like In the Heights more than Hamilton. I don't care. I knew Come that after we had me. a connection. Come after me, I geeks. I don't care. Similar? 
I'll they're take you similar. all. They're not similar. They're similar in the fact that it's Lin Manuel Miranda. They're, they're written by the same guy. Oh, it is. He Lin also did Man Bring Man It On and um, uh, just a lot. Of, he did music for Moana. So he's yeah, I knew that. I love. Oh, so he's, he's a he's a luminary the then. He's oh, like oh, a yes. he's an actual genius. Yes, he genius. is. He, yes, he's he's, he's incredibly like brilliant. He's 33 years he's old. He's so young. I just I just kind of like the music from I the I love Heights in the Heights and I relate to the story more. What yeah. a bastard. It's cuz it's about, you know, a group a community rising up together and I'm overcoming just, and I'm I'm telling my underdog. truth, Jasmine. Your truth and is my truth right now. Is that I like in the Heights more? I do too. But anyway, you were in a show. Anyway, I was in a show. And I was Eventually really tired. We're get to Eventually, we'll get to how your it. roommate got here. We'll get to it. And I had like, <laughs> I think, no joke, like 48 bucks or maybe like negative 48 bucks. I don't know. Sure. It was the Same struggle thing. of the struggle sure. when I booked the leftovers. Nice. That's the way it goes, right? It hey, just like Carlito. Just like Carlito. There you go. It was actually me. It's always darkest before the, the dam breaks, I think is the saying. Oh, bef- yeah. He's that's slightly it. off. That's it. Sorry. Well, my friend just yesterday, he said, uh, what is it? Okay. The, don't don't call the kettle. See now I'm gonna mess it up. What is it? The pot can't call the kettle black or that's something. That's the kettle pot calling the kettle black. Kettle oh, black he was what? like, that's the sheep calling the cattle black. No, <laughs> the cattle black. And which like confused cows? me even more. I'm already bad at those things. No, kettle black <laughs> is that new show on Netflix. Everyone. What? Likes. Kettle black. Kettle black. Orphan yeah. black. Orphan black. Which is right. brilliant. I was close. kettle black. What? I was close. <laughs> Where did that come from? Or black know, mirror. Being stupid. Brett calls all of his kettles orphans. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so you got the leftovers. Yeah. Now, what was the process? Just normal audition, callback, oh, pretty standard screen no, test. What? what happened? No, it took forever. Really? It took for, for, uh, for, mm-hmm. for. I got excited. Yeah, it took forever. So first audition came, and it was just the script mm-hmm. it was the most beautiful writing I had ever read. Mm-hmm. And it just something happened to me. I've never had such an emotional reaction to a piece of text. Wow. Mm. And I went in and I did the audition. Give me your phone number. And what? <laughs> <laughs> I went in and I did the audition. <laughs> we should change the name of this show to <laughs> Throwing You Off the Track. <laughs> I'll do it. Or at least a segment. <laughs> Go ahead. I did the audition. And then like, Two weeks later, something I came back in for a callback, and they said, "Make it lighter," mm-hmm. which seems to be the theme of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Way too serious and dramatic all the time. It's the leftovers. Uh, it's the most. I know. And if they tell you to make it lighter, you clearly have a problem. Yeah. So I made it lighter. Jeez. And then it was the chemistry read for uh, Evie and Michael, and do you which know? is where they. Uh, let me explain to the people. A chemistry read is where they'll have someone auditioning, mm-hmm. such as yourself come in and read with someone who's already been cast. Right, or a bunch see. of people who haven't been or cast exactly, to see to the see chemistry, see whether it's chemistry. boyfriend, girlfriend, brother, sister, mother, daughter, whatever. So there were two actors there, and one of them was Javon, who ended up booking mm-hmm. Michael Murphy. Mm-hmm. I just remember looking at him. I was like, mm, yeah, he's the one. And he had his headphones in, and we were not about to do some serious scene. It was very lighthearted and just whatever. Are and you guys so engaged? Are we engaged? You said he's the one. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, no, I was being serious. Oh, no, I mean the one for to play Michael. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, cr- I no, seriously, when you were like, I looked at him and he was the one, I was oh, like, no, no. oh, my God, you got a show and a fiance? And we're engaged. No. Oh. No, no. I meant wow. he was the one to be my twin brother. Let's just start so a rumor I, that you guys are engaged. That's interesting. That's Let's an interesting it. rumor. Why not? You know? Red also thinks kettles are called orphans. You also think so. kettles are orphans and that you're always wearing gloves. I, I don't know if I can <laughs> take your word for much. I also at this can't point. spell. And he definitely I can't really spell. have can't trouble spell. reading a lot. I'm not good at geography. I'm so, so bad at geography. So did he book it and you booked it? He booked it? it and I booked it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. 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 But we didn't find out for weeks. The Leftovers is the number one show right now that everyone I talk to is going, Are you watching this show? And sadly, good to hear. I have not gotten on board yet it's all good you because know how many there's shows about there a thousand watch? other things i'm catching there's up so with so many shows but um i'm very close to it's all good it on. so i just have to be honest i appreciate that. i don't want to sit here and be like oh. and fake it then i'll be like yeah remember this scene and then yeah you'll say yeah and i'll be like i lied it's i mean i'm scene. like a really good actor though like you would have never known I i'm like because i'm like really good yeah i don't know if you know like i'm really oh i know good. how i can tell okay let's play two truths and a lie I don't even know what Watch that game this. is. I'm pulling the game on you guys. She oh, gonna so say so she's gonna so say. So you say two truths. I'll, I'll go first. Oh okay. 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 All right. I. This is the lie because she's taking. <laughs> okay, <credit. laughs> let me think of them first. <laughs> when you say that, definitely gonna be okay. Okay. <laughs> let her think. Okay. Sorry, everyone. One of my favorite foods is hot dogs with peanut butter. Okay. I have been skydiving over the Great Barrier Reef. Mm. I love to drink mimosas in Mexico. 
Oh man, but all those things sound awesome. Now which the, what the, here's what? Which one's the first the lie? one does not sound awesome. Which one's the lie? Here's the thing though. The first one Well, we gotta talk about Sounds like her. she's yeah. trapped oh, okay. in a all basement right. <laughs> and that's what she's fed by her <laughs> kidnapper. So <laughs> Okay, here's the thing, <laughs> Marty. The first one is so specific that it like that's kind of hard to have, have be a lie. Yeah. Skydiving with the Great Barrier Reef sounds like something that's on your Tinder profile. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty, and it is. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Min Brown's. Min Brown, my Tinder. Her tinned. And one what was the, the third one? I love to drink mimosas in Mexico. In Mexico. Well, sounds that's like a kind vocal warm up. Everyone would love. I like oh, to get I wasted in Margaritaville. <laughs> mimosas in Mexico. Mimosas in Mexico. Mimosas in Mexico. That's All right, which one do you want to go with? Which Hot dogs and peanut butter. No, it's too specific. I'm gonna go with Great Barrier Reef. Neither one. I've never oh. been to Mexico. So you like hot dogs and peanut yes, butter? Yes, it's so good. But Please it's partly true. Try you probably it. love drinking mimosas. Probably, but All I've right. never been to Mexico. Well, guess what? What? I'm not having a kid tomorrow. Oh! I've been lying the whole time. Wait. Boom! Have you Long been? con, up high. He's going to try to steal a kid tomorrow is what he means. Oh. See that? Oh, okay. Yeah. You know. No, I am. Interesting. I, I you actually, are having no, a kid? No, yeah, I am. That okay. would have been really cool, though, if I was lying about that the whole time. Are we all supposed to play? I mean, I'm not going to be really I bad mean, at it. You don't have to play. I was almost drafted to the NFL. <laughs> I was almost drafted to the NHL. I was almost drafted to the NBA. Those are three what? lies. Which <laughs> one is a lie? Those are three lies. And which lies. two are the true? Which one, What's NHL? National Hockey League? Mm-hmm. Oh. oh. Sorry! You got a couple I'm Canadians sorry. over there. Just I'm not cringe. from Canada. Don't look at me like that. Uh. I was also drafted <laughs> into the WNBA. <laughs> and um, what's the other all one? All right, here's mine. Okay. Okay, just um, skip over me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> all of yours were lies. You're an asshole. <laughs> I, uh... Hmm, okay. <laughs> Stop touching it. I'm gonna lick your wrist. <laughs> He's talking to Ben, for those of you talking who's to Jack's podcast. Phone. <laughs> I um, okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> this is it's just one for of those Jasmine shows. to guess because okay. you're gonna know. Okay, I'll shut up. Okay. I went to theater camp for three summers in a row. <laughs> <laughs> can I say something? Can I do them? <laughs> I don't know. Is I that can't the think lie? of anything else. You went four summers in a row. I can't think of anything else. Can I do them for you? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. He's once had semi-permanent swastika tattoos. All right. <laughs> he has once uh, had a child he didn't have a name for. Mm. So he just called it kid for multiple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Said with such judgment. Yes. <laughs> and he is. Uh, oh, I have it. I just want to word it correctly. Go for it. And he has a log cabin attached to the roof of his house. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all three very strange things. A log cabin attached to the roof yeah. of his house. He's got a, like a log cabin as like the s- a second story <laughs> on his house. What was the first one? He's had. Semi permanent Schwatzdeke tattoos. Oh man. <laughs> oh. Um. This, what was the second one I said? <laughs> you said I didn't name a kid. Oh, he didn't have it. Yeah, he just was calling his kid kid for weeks. <laughs> um. And then he has a log cabin. A third. A log cabin is just such a specific yeah. term. Yeah. You know, it's not just add on or right. an extra room. I'm gonna go with that's the lie. He has a lot. He yeah, actually has a no. second story of his house that's just a made of It looks made much of, like a log cabin. It's made yeah. of wood, all okay. wood. Actually, all three of those things are kind of true, except I, the boy didn't go weeks without you having You knew a name. his name before you had him. No, no. Well, it was on a list of names. It was the day of, at least. Yeah, you we had named to wait him, to, but, s- to but see. But the nurses were coming was? in the room being like, you guys got to name this kid because we need to write something down. So oh. We and went a while without naming and him. And the Schwarzenegger tattoos... He just was, he had a he had a face. Oh, come on! Look at this face. Okay. Of course, I played that a Nazi. That is the face of a Nazi. <laughs> Hell yeah! I'm sure, that's how your wife fell. Damn in love. straight. <laughs> this is the face of a Nazi, and Rolf from The Sound of Music, who turns out to be <laughs> a Nazi. True. Spoiler alert, everybody! <laughs> Did you ever play Rolf? Of course. Of course. You wait, little girl. Yeah. Come on. When are you doing a musical? 
I'll go see it. Not soon enough, Jeff. You Can should you do one together. For, yes, you know. Let's do one together. There, we, uh, this summer at the Hollywood Bowl is uh, da, 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 Mamma Mia. Oh, you here I go again. My, my. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a dork. Um, 525,600 Wow. Minutes. Jasmine, the leftovers. Oh, let's talk yeah. about Will real quick. Will. Will on TNT. Will on TNT. When does it air? July 10th. July 10th, July everybody. July 10th is the Six first day. Six days after the America's birthday. And I gather yeah. that this That's is true. about young, young dogs and peanut William O'Reilly, who just was fired from Fox News. Actually, yes. Is that what it's about? Yeah. We'll do it live. We'll and do I, it live. I play his mistress. It's kind of cool they're calling it Will, though. They're like giving him an edge. Yeah, it's because before mistress? he was William Shakespeare. <laughs> he was Will. Um, that's what his friends called him. Yeah, yeah no, uh, I'm completely kidding, everyone. No, uh, Will is about <laughs> William Shakespeare. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, how he came to be and how he discovered his him? artistry. Him? I play William Shakespeare. Wow. I just put on a beard, some more eyebrows. Hey, it's 2017. I think he yeah, invented the word happen. eyebrow. And he invented the word eyeball. Did you Gender, know that? Gender's a spectrum. You can do whatever. It you is. can play whatever. It is a spectrum. Um, who do you play in Will? I play Amelia Bassano, mm -hmm. who was in real life believed to be the dark lady of his sonnets if you're familiar interesting the whole series of his sonnets are about the dark and lady and what's the tone of the show is it a little Shakespeare and lovey tone um, like where it's like <laughs> real ish I mean it's not like the Shakespeare we think of like thee and thou and right no it's very it's I mean, I mean, they're calling they're speaking it speaking in old Shakespeare English, an yeah. old English, but it's very modern because they use modern music mm -hmm. and modern Ooh, themes. That's cool. Well, that's the thing about Shakespeare; it's forever modern. Sure, right? all like all his themes, evergreen, mm -hmm. ever modern. Mm -hmm. his themes are love, death, sex, rock and roll, romance, rock and roll, mm -hmm. art. You I know? like all those things. Forever, poison, daggers, current, mm -hmm. daggers. I Sleeping want to, with I really want to kill someone on a show. Stuff. On a show. <laughs> Not what? in real life. With a dagger? With a dagger would be fun. Just like, and take out their heart and then Oh, man. Eat Without it. the wow. headphones on, yeah. I'm missing things. You just said you want to kill someone? Yes. Yeah, yeah. With a dagger. Oh, on a show. Okay. Not in real life. All right. Not in real life. Although, I got in a big argument with my mom about this. She wouldn't kill someone for me. I'm like, then you don't really love me. Well, let's I would on. kill someone for my mom. Wow. Or, like, my best friend. This is like those crazy hypotheticals Marty and I are always asking each yeah. other. So, I'll ask you then, one of them, that we okay. always talk about when okay. we are known to go out and tip a few. Tip a few. Cows, he means. Of course. Yeah, Have you ever done that? Necks. I never did. I'm I from almost Florida, did, sister. Of course I've fucking done it. that. All right. Back on, like the, the back on the track. Back, back on, the, on track, the track, everybody. Sorry, we talked about Jasmine, that. Um, yes. if I had a briefcase full yes. of unmarked small denominational bills... Unmarked? What does that mean? You know, they can't be traced. Oh, okay. Money. Well, then does it work? About. Oh, yeah. You're fine. Well, there's they still got serial numbers. On, but the point not. is, <laughs> it's all tax-free. It's oh. all tax-free. Free money. And I will also guarantee you like that you food. will never be caught for the crime. Okay. Would no you, one will ever know. How much money you? would it take for you to kill someone? Oh, well, I wouldn't. Come on. No. Come on. What about if Who your mother is it? Everyone's you got a too. price. Who is it? If I'm not going to be caught. No, no, no. Okay, oh, okay, here's the parameters. If I'm not going to be caught here's and I'm getting money, there are a couple. You don't know the person. Oh, I couldn't do that. I'm going to give you a picture mm. and a name. Joseph Coney. You mm. do not know the person. No, no, no. No, I can't do that. It would have to you be wouldn't like, do it? No, I could kill someone for like my mom or my girlfriend or my best friend. But Joseph I Coney, just, the guy I'd, from the, the African I'm warlord who like has child soldiers. doesn't pay. I'll do it for 500 bucks right now. I could not live with myself because you don't know. You don't know that person. You don't know what they've been through or what they're going through. What if they were horrible? But how would I know? What if they're great? Exactly. Would you, you kill know. Hitler for five hundred bucks? Yeah. All right. Settled. <laughs> Jasmine, you're a way better person than both Marty or I. Well, you would. How much would it take for you? I don't know. Tuition for the kids. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. I mean, as the days go honestly. on, it's it's getting less and less. I would <laughs> I would kill Brett so I didn't have to show up on Sundays anymore. <laughs> Just for five hundred bucks. For so I don't have to show up on Sundays. Oh, no money. I, see, I, see. I know it's a super it's dark question, but you never get caught. No, I would, oh, oh, oh. I would live with it. Here's the caveat. I, I keep forgetting that. our own hypothetical. Shame. Here's, the, here's all the caveats. Okay. You don't deep. know the person. You're never going to get caught. Doesn't matter. And you're the only one who will ever know about it. The person who told me to kill them knows. No. No, that no, no. Their mind gets erased. It's like a men in black thing. It that gets erased. A ghost. This is our hypothetical. I couldn't do it. I still no couldn't do it. No amount of money. No. Wow. No. Gosh, we finally found someone with principles, It's Marty. not about the money for me. It's, right. it's just this like I'm going to stop asking these weird questions. Okay. I'm even weirding myself out. I'll <laughs> save mine for after this. Ben, show. I forgot to start my timer. Where are we at? 40 what? minutes. Perfect. The time flies. I know. What else do you want to talk flies. about before we move on to our final little segment flies. here? Flies. What else should we talk well, about? Well, I had a funny story. Oh, wait, kind love. Of. Yeah, we were supposed oh, to yeah. talk about that. love. Can't talk about too much. Okay, what just is love? Just that I'm, I'm shooting love. Baby, don't hurt me. 
Don't hurt me. No more. Did you not get it? I, I got it. Oh, okay. What okay. is love? Yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. I, I wanted, got it. I wanted more of a reaction. <laughs> oh, speaking of Chris Kattan. See? Yeah. It all comes it back, all to, comes Chris back to Chris Kattan. Who also is Such from the Northwest, I believe. Is he? I think so. I don't know that. Um, love. Yeah, Love's a show so on Netflix. So you have a new project called Love. It's a Judd Apatow show. Wow, it's on Netflix. Girl, mm-hmm. God, Season three. We're shooting it right it. now. And it's so much fun. I had said I, the next thing I wanted to do was... Improv comedy. Uh huh. It's improv comedy. And uh, so, when is season three airing? Did you I don't actually know oh, that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but coming soon. That. Coming soon to, to Netflix. a Netflix screen near you. Wow. Season two was just released. It's mm-hmm. such a cool show. Now is is Judd awesome. is Judd as much of a gentle puppy dog as he seems? I believe so. Yeah. 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 He's nice. He's quiet. That's cool. He's got a beard. Man. Except for the throne cool of dude. skulls he gets wheeled in on every day. Yeah, I mean, if you say a line wrong, your head gets chopped off. Oh, really? And then you're skinned. Oh. And then the, your skull is put onto the throne, and then he sits on it, and then <laughs> pees in a bottle. So Wow. See, you go, yeah. you're good at improv comedy. You yeah. should do it more often. I, maybe I should try it. <laughs> a little bit of improv. <laughs> <laughs> um can you tell us who you play? I can't in tell you anything. Love? You can't tell us anything? No, but I'm in it. Oh. Yeah. Here's what's important, everyone. Right. She's on three shows. Yeah. Three shows at once. And did you kick the roommate out? Because oh. now you can pay the rent on your own? No, no, no. We're still roommates. But we almost stopped being roommates because we got bug bites. Bug bites? Bed bugs? Bed uh, bugs. Kill. Uh. And that is the worst hell. Did you move out of that place? On Earth. We did eventually. Mm. Yeah, we had to finish up our lease. Here's the thing about bed bugs. Pretty sure they're racist. Because <laughs> oh. they bit me to death. Well. Never bit her. And then, experiment, her family came to town. Wow. While we had them. None of them got bit. Wow. Two friends stayed over. My friend Tom and my friend Courtney both stayed over. Yeah. And I and Courtney got bit. And I asked Tom, I was like, will you please just sleep in that bed? Like, mm-hmm. just do it for me as a, as a test. And he got bit. That's a good friend. Wow. He got bit. So those Sweeter bugs blood. are racist. Sweeter blood, maybe. Asian? She's white. Oh, here's the thing. They're not racist. They are racist. Here's another show story for you. I played a show in Virginia once, and they put me up at a Motel 6. (laughs) Oh, God. Well, there goes them as a potential sponsor. (laughs) I went in, I got in my room, and in the whole room was just damp. Oh, no. Everything was damp. No, 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 no. No. And I was like, all right, well, you know, (laughs) tour life. (laughs) (laughs) So I went, I started to go to sleep and I was watching TV and I thought there was a mosquito in the room because it's, it's humid in Virginia and, I, and I'm used to mosquitoes in Florida. I kept like, you know, smacking uh, myself. I'm having anxiety. And I was like, I got to get out of this room. I'm going to go see a movie. So I went to see a movie at like midnight. I walked through down <gasps> through the rain and to go see this movie. And then it's Chase. And then we came up, I came back upstairs and then I uh, went to sleep. I woke the next morning and from like head <sighs> to bottom of my foot yeah you know how they bite you in that line yeah yeah all the way down Oof. i like sent an angry email Oof. jasmine like i had to call my Terrifying. mom yeah i had a, a circle here worse and my neck so maybe they cheeks. think i'm not white because i'm so jasmine cool. that's I'm, probably it it's the swagger yeah let's that's just it. let's just let that story die let's not even oh, okay you and i like let's just <laughs> why are you doing this because that was gross we were relating. You're gross. On like another level. No, I just wanted to like let it stop because I was going to say this. Let's take a quick break and then come right back with Jasmine and ask her 10 questions. Oh, no. We'll be right back with Jasmine oh, Savoy gosh. Brown right after this. Meow, 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 meow. All right. But it's not an actual. We'll put it in later. I don't like that we're not having you ready? headphones on. I know. It's weird. Because I can't me out. make my little offensive jokes so in the background. It's actually kind of uh, weirded me out that I can't hear what's going on. We're going to have to work on that. I'll just anyway. Make some weird sounds. <coughs> you ready? Later. All right, Jasmine. Yes. One last thing to do with you here. I'm afraid. Also, as I said, my brain's all over the place. So is mine. And I apologize. It's all but good. now that you're a friend of the show, you'll come back, right? I would love to come okay, back. Okay, so we'll, we'll... I'm just not leaving. We'll clean all this up on part two. Sweet. Because we forgot to have you pick a topic out of the topic jar. Oh, no. Do you want to just pick one and read it? Yeah. Yeah, just pick it and read it. We don't even have to... Unless it's really great. Unless okay. it's like something common. This is the derailing episode. So I know this well. episode's <laughs> all over. No, I'm sorry. Oh, there's publicist oh. Nilda's back there. She's really upset at me. She's oh. she's she's giving me it's the a thing. Uh, cutting the throat symbol. Yeah, she's she, like, I get that from her a lot. I like to like, stress her she out. She brought her own wrap it up. No more clients for you. Um, but anyway, it Jasmine, just read oh. it. Just read it. A place I don't ever want to go again. Huh. Ooh, that's a good one. Well. You For have. Marty, I think it's that Motel 6. I'll go back. Got that off. In fact, they gave me uh, like it's two great, months of free rooms. It's a great yes and. 
<laughs> oh, oh yeah. They, well, yeah. They, I'm saying the email. Oh, well, actually, I, I, you guys talked over a me place saying you never want to go again. I mean, <laughs> anywhere with bed bugs. I can't. Yeah. Think okay, else. that makes yeah, sense. You know. What about your hometown? That sounds like a I whole old, old piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> a place I never want to go again is. Oh man, they put us up at this hotel one the time. The maternity we're ward. Shooting a movie in uh, New Orleans. Sorry, Ben, you're gonna have to cover your ears. But there was this hotel out in Saint Bernard Parish, and it was real bad. That's and not I New don't, Orleans. That's Saint I don't ever want to go there again. <laughs> I don't know right. the name of the hotel. But it was just. But mad. it was. Oh, it was bad. <laughs> it was like it had a casino in the bottom of it, but not like a casino. It was like just basically oh. a room that it's about this size where they were playing video poker. So oh anyway it was a, it was not a not a oh. great place I don't want to go there again all right we got that out of the way Jasmine, all right okay two cards one in each hand the orange one mm -hmm. contains a line of questioning called this or that the purple one contains a line of questioning called ten questions but I got really bored with all ten questions so now it's just six questions okay. however you determine what line of questioning I ask you because I put them behind my back and I oh. ask you to tell me right or left I mean it's not you don't really determine it because you're guessing. Right, so that's a lie. So you lied again. Right. Um, oh. Left hand. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Oh, it's 10 questions. <laughs> <laughs> you determined it was 10 questions. <laughs> I forgot Dang which it. hand was which. Oh. Uh, 10 questions, yeah. which has now become six questions. Yeah. I'm already dreading And eventually this. it'll probably just be one big question. What is And that is. No, uh, okay, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> question number one. Mm -hmm. I should warn you, they start out easy. Mm. And then it gets intense. Okay. <laughs> Question me. number one. Don't peek. What is your favorite emoji? Oh. <laughs> okay. I really can only pick one, huh? To receive or to send? Ooh. Let's do both. Okay. Lately, I really like the sunglasses guy. To oh. send? That's he's my like, favorite. That's my like, favorite emoji. And that's to send. That's to send. Okay. But to receive, I've gotten a couple of the... Not the funny one, but the one that's like... That was so good. Like, that food was so good. Oh, or the like kind of drunk face? Yeah. Are you going to see the Emoji movie when that comes out? The drunk the drunk no. Mr. Yuck. Me neither. That's what I call it. And no desire. What movie? No offense. The Emoji movie that's coming out? Oh, God. Yeah. It might be hilarious, it but I just won't be. don't want to see it. What time is it? 7. That might be... Josh? I just heard the door. Not, I was Chase. Going back oh, down. never mind. Sorry. We'll edit Should that out. Be. We won't. Leave it in. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, just because my parents are going to come visit. So that might be them. Or next guest, whatever. I'm just saying. Anyway, sorry. Back wow. to you, Jasmine. You would never <sighs> over Jasmine, you, I Jasmine. swear, I swear, wow. I swear on I solemnly swear. our sweet President Donald Trump that the next time you oh. are here, it will not go like this. Okay. I like this I episode. I think it's fun. I very much enjoy it. Number three. Number three. You skipped. Oh, I see. Yes. Yeah, yeah, two I edited sucks. out questions. I two see. did suck. Okay. It doesn't suck. I just got bored of it. Okay. We'll Number three. That. Let's talk about it. What is your most watched movie? What movie have you seen the most <laughs> amount of times? <laughs> uh, uh, hmm. And I will judge you no matter <laughs> you, what you say, but I want the truth. You're going to judge me. I want the and truth. I know some people who will laugh right now. Okay. The movie I've probably watched the most times is Daddy Daycare. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wait. Yeah, that's the worst answer we've ever gotten. <laughs> because I went through this phase. I went through this phase when I was a kid where I watched it so many times. Mm -hmm. So many times. And which and is your favorite part of Daddy Daycare? <laughs> What's the thing that kept you coming back to mm -hmm. Daddy Daycare? I just loved it. I think it was because, mm -hmm. and this is going to get like a little bit dark, right? Mm-hmm. When I was younger, there weren't a lot of black people in movies or TVs that were playing like positive roles. And okay. It was Eddie Murphy and Regina King, yeah. and there were like some black kids, and they okay. were just funny. Yeah. And mm. it was funny, and yeah, I like right. kids, and I wanted to be a babysitter. Now we, and now we I can't wanted to be a babysitter. <laughs> and then I was, and I just. Now we can't make fun of her. Now you can't make fun of me. Daddy yeah. daycare. And then I got to work with Regina King. Oh, that's okay, cool. So came full circle. Daddy daycare is also the name of my favorite strip club in Tampa. Oh. Tampa. Mons Venus. I don't even know what to say to that. Number five. Uh, number five. Did you ever have an AIM or any of the early instant messengers? Oh, and if so, I did. Tell us your screen name. I had an AOL. Oh gosh, this, you really want to know my screen that's name? That's the point. <laughs> yeah. 
Jazzarella Ding Dong at yes. AOL.com. See the dong. It always comes back to the dong. Oh. <laughs> is so that still active? It probably Jazzarella? is. Jazzarella? You just she, gave that out. I did. That's all right. Jazzarella. Because I played Cinderella. Jazzarella so then I was like, Ding well, then Dong. My mom called me Jazzarella. And I Why was the like, Ding Dong? Yeah. Though? What about the Ding Dong? Because I just wanted to be different. <laughs> That's Number six. <laughs> that's a real stupid name, Jasmine. <laughs> Number six, because oh, I was on a show called Awkward. Every interview or podcast. Oh, that's how I know your face. I like that show. All snaps into focus. That show sucks. Um, it was funny. Everything I would ever do, they thought they were clever, and they'd be like, "What's well, been the most awkward moment of your life?" Oh. And so now that I have my own show, I get to annoy, get to annoy my others. guests with that question. What's been the most leftover moment? <laughs> 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 so, uh, Jasmine Savoy Brown, yes. what's been the most awkward uh, professional moment of your life? Oh, yep, that's an easy one. So sometimes I just mix up words. I'm trying to say something and I can't. Sure. And um, this woman was giving me a microphone, and sometimes you have to like go up through the bra or whatever. I oh, like micing you up. Just micing me up. They, I like to make jokes. They with like the sound to hide. Like, That's uh, why you got this job because they just like get to feel you up. Sure. You know, all it's day. It's like you're going in to infiltrate the mafia. And they say they put sorry a wire about on this. you at work. They don't mean when you're sorry. On no, they TV don't mean sorry. Shows. They are very happy it's the about best. it. And, yeah, um, anyway, yeah. So. She was uh, in front of me, and she was taking my mic out, and she was on her knees, and I made some sort of joke, and I was, or she made a joke, and I was trying to say, got to keep you on your toes, but I was like, got to keep you on your knees. That's good. Mm. She just looked at me, mm. and it was very and embarrassing. And I was like, I'm not sexually harassing you. I didn't mean that. I just meant, and I, uh, you oh. were, though. That was my first day on the job. If I said that, I'd be arrested. I was going to say, Probably. speaking of Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> That's also my nickname. You know, it's really hard for a white guy. That's what they call you? Just call me Bill. They just call you Bill. I'm Mr. O'Reilly. Good old William O'Reilly. That's me. Ah, poor guy, man. Poor guy. It's really hard for white guys to catch I mean, a break. You just I mean, try to get some. Poor straight white yeah, you guys. You lose your job. Millionaires, too. Yeah, like bad that, for that. them every day. It's, it's tough. What a complete asshole. For me, it's a hard knock life what a complete for asshole. you. Just um, me. Okay, number eight. Just you. Number eight. Number eight. It's great. I'm so glad that everyone knows we're like really sarcastic because all the like. Thank I'm God. Not so I'm president. serious, Trump. man. I'm on. Anyway, uh, Bill O'Reilly sucks. I do. Number eight. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this leads perfectly. Uh oh. Number eight. <laughs> number eight. Was when we started doing this show. Yes. Was we had mostly male guests. Just by happenstance. That's my secret. Not on purpose. Well, because we don't hang out with a lot of girls. <laughs> Um, Are we, we had some technical difficulties, and I'm in the middle of telling Jasmine a story, and um, I'm just going to keep telling her the story. Yeah, tell me I don't story. care. So then um, they didn't give me the part of the prince because I was too short. Well, too so cool. then my mom found this out and then started making me put lifts in my shoes. Yeah, this is a Seriously? true story. This is a true story. That's a great mom, though. She was looking out for you. You know, she wanted to help you yeah, out. Yeah, or she's Mama Rose. And I have to figure out how Would I feel about you that. You were trying Which to audition one? for the role of Prince. Yeah. Yeah. Cinderella. They wouldn't let you do it because you're too short. I know. My non-graded Not school was white. doing Purple Rain, the musical. Pretty progressive. Right. Pretty wow. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's, when that's the dub's impressive. Cry. Um, back to the yes, questionnaire. Eight. So we would ask this question, number right, eight. We would ask this of, of all of our male guests. Okay. Um, and then, and then we started having ladies on the show. All right. But Bring I didn't want to change up the questionnaire. Bring it on. Because it's, so, it was 2017. It was time. It was just time. It's yeah. time. Yeah. Gender is a spectrum. It's a spectrum. Yep. Um, we had so a the question was, for the dudes, was do you prefer, prefer wearing boxers briefs oh. or boxer briefs? But now for ladies, I have to ask it like this. I'm actually required by law to ask it like this. Can we add a cringe factor? Do you prefer boxers or briefs? Granny panties, boy shorts, commando, or other? I mean, it depends on the occasion. Sure. Yeah, but prefer. Boy shorts. Mm. I like boy shorts. And without looking, do you know what color you're wearing today? <laughs> I like boys' no. shorts, too. That's my favorite question I ask everybody. Oh, now I remember. Black. Black and gray. All right. Black and gray. We but I like that you were unsure. Yeah. Most people are. I that just don't that's really not pay an official attention. question of the ten questions, but that's that a good is question. my favorite question because the 
most people most are people just don't like know. they don't know. But you know, some people really determine their day around that. I had this phase in the fourth grade. I had these underwear that had the day of the week labeled as if I needed to know. But I liked that. It's like it's the Monday day, and then it made me feel. Oh, huh. not like your mom wrote it in. No, there. I bought some underwear that oh. it said Monday. Oh, it Tuesday, said it Wednesday, on Wednesday. there. Yeah. Just because I went to theater camp. You forget, camp, and you can you look. Because I went to theater camp growing up, all my underwear had my name in it. Oh yeah, I have a lot so. of stuff still that has my name on it. Right. I like, never had a thing with my name on it. Did you ever go to you summer didn't go camp? To camp? I was a I was a summer camp counselor for like seven years. Yeah, but the I counselors don't counselor. write their name. You were a counselor, but you were never a camper. No, that's creepy. Yeah, I had uh, parents that loved me. My parents, my mom sent me to camp because she loved me. You don't me. even have to respond to some of the things he says. <laughs> was, yeah. it sleep, it. was it a sleepaway camp? Yes, I wanted Jeez, to go. Got rid of you. That's I how I wanted I went. to go. Don't even respond to him. He's being provocative. Now I'm going to just analyze everything. You're right. My mom sent me away. Um, well, time. Number 10. You. We've come to the end. No. I'll drag it on. We've come to the end. Number nine used to be what's the favorite, your favorite piece of advice you've received in oh. life. But I got really sick of everyone sitting here saying, just go for it. Oh, that's not what I was so. going to say. Oh, all right. Well, then what were you going to say? Don't take everything so seriously. Oh, that's good. That's, that's a, good a lot one. better. A couple people have given me that. That's really good, actually. Well, I like that a lot more. I, prefer I just that. got so sick of everyone going like, you know, just, just yeah. like, take a risk. Just, just like, like step out and go. Leap in the net will appear. <laughs> just like go, man. Sometimes yeah. the stairway will reveal how you start climbing on. Oh, yes. gosh. I got sick of it. Number 10, though. I made that Number one 10. Up. Now, this is worked. the most important question no. of them all. Udong or Ushlong? Just kidding. What? I just wanted to I think we might have to bleep that out, actually. No. Um, leave it in with the nip slip. This is the most important <laughs> question, and I ask this question of not only people that come sit on our podcast, yes, but I ask people this just when I meet people in life because okay. it cuts right to the core, okay, and tells me everything I need to know about you. It's a simple question with a simple answer, yet it tells me everything I need to know. Will I keep it simple? Jasmine Savoy Brown. That's me. Mm-hmm. Of HBO's The Leftovers. Also, coming soon to TNT's Will mm. and the Judd Apatow masterpiece Love, Love on Netflix. Love. What is your favorite fruit? Oh. Oh. Hmm. That's everyone's reaction, by the way. <laughs> Nectarine. That's a wrap, everybody, <laughs> on another edition of the Brett Davern Show. Thank you out there for listening. Thank you for subscribing on iTunes, Google Play Music, or YouTube, or wherever else you get your podcasts. Remember, this show is free, and if you like what you hear, just tell a friend about our little show. Also, if you would please rate and review our show or leave comments on YouTube, we would appreciate that as well. You can also visit brettdavernshow.com where there are tons of behind-the-scenes photos of all of our guests. You can also sign up to be a caller on the show. You can sign up for the mailing list. There's a million and one things to do at brettdavernshow.com. You can also follow the show on all the social medias, Snapchat, Instagram, um, Friend Finder, Friendster, LinkedIn, AOL, AOL, um, Napster, Plenty of Fish, uh, Tinder. Link, link, Linksys. J Date. Um, J Date. And. The Harmony. Match. That one for sure. J Date. Match. Yes. All of that stuff. Same handle for all of them at Brett Davern Show. Today's guest, Jasmine Savoy Brown, can be found on Twitter at Jazz, J A Z Z underscore Min, M I N Brown. Like I said, look out for all the cool things she's got going on. The Leftovers on HBO, Will on TNT, and Love on Netflix. Yes. Is it the same uh, handle for Instagram, by the way? It's different. I know. Oh, no. I, know. I make it complicated. What is it? Miss underscore Jasmine underscore what? Savoy. Two underscores. Two, Two underscores. And one handle. You are fancy. You are a I live on the edge. wild man. Fire. Wow. I take risks. And I what about Snapchat? Them. You on the Snapchat? I have three Snapchats because I always forget and log really? back in. Really? So it's just really all know. underscores. It's just all underscores. I have two. One that people know about and then the other one, one for just nudes. for your wife. Yeah, yeah, totally. Well, 
no, but oh. yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye, producer Ben. Goodbye, producer Ben. Ben is on Twitter <laughs> at the Big Ben seventy six. My buddy to my left, Marty Shannon, has an album. It's already out. It's called Twenty Six Hundred. You can find it at brettdavernshow or it's also streaming on Spotify and. A new album coming soon. Holy shit. Ooh. Entitled Bring It Home. Ooh, uh, I like but that. much more on that later. For now, Marty just has these words for all of us. We must let go of the life we have planned so as to accept the life we have waiting for us. Joseph Campbell. Marty's on Twitter at Marty underscore Shannon. One underscore three N's. As for me, I'm Brett on Twitter at BDAV, B D A V V. I'd like, <laughs> like to remind all of you to be kind and take care of each other. That was our show. Woo. Good night. Schlong. <laughs> there you go. That was yeah. it. Yeah. Now we just uh, shoot a quick promo. Do you want to yeah, use yeah. your phone? Scoot back toward us here. Oh. Probably because we have this Oops. new. Yeah. Maybe just use your phone. Yeah.